This video demonstrates how to create flat, parallel faces on the plastic block that will become the pump body. We'll use a fly cutter to trim uneven material so that the plastic block can be securely held in the machining vise. A fly cutter removes broad swaths of material and is often used in preparing stock for more precise machining operations. The pump body block is cut from an extrusion of ABS plastic. The sides of the extrusion are not flat. During manufacturing, it is helpful to have two opposing sides that are both parallel and flat. After the machining operations in this video, the top and bottom faces will be flat, but the sides won't be. Start by placing the piece in the vise. Lower the quill to its fully extended position and lock it into place. Use the hand cranks to align the tip of the cutting tool with the highest point on the ABS block. Use the vertical crank to lower the tip until it just touches the top of the workpiece. Turn on the mill and adjust the speed as necessary. Use the hand crank to position the fly cutter past the edge of the piece. Lower the fly cutter and proceed to take a series of back and forth cuts, each time lowering the fly cutter when it's back at the far end. Here you can see that the depth of the cut should not be very big. 10 or 20 thousandths of an inch at a time is plenty. This is a speeded up sequence showing multiple passes with the fly cutter. Each cut is relatively small, say 15 thousandths of an inch. Continue cuts with the fly cutter until all or almost all of the top surface is flat. Small depressions won't affect the ability of the vise to hold the piece. Turn off the fly cutter, allowing it to come to a complete stop before loosening the vise. Now I'm going to flip this over, but I'm just going to flip it, making sure that this is the same surface against that solid wall. After flipping the piece, we use the fly cutter to shave material off the opposite face. As long as the clean face is down against the bottom of the vise, we'll have two parallel faces. Here are the sequence of cuts on the backside, shown speeded up four times. Each pass removes a little more material in this time-lapse sequence, we're not showing the cutting tool being lowered after each pass. We now have two parallel faces on opposite sides of the block. But we're not done until we've cleaned up the work area and left it in good shape for the next person.